The Border League this season has come back to being a league again, with all seven clubs playing each other, and the current Border League champion Selkirk from the Premiership played host to Melrose from National One. And it was Selkirk who went into the lead early doors when Josh Welsh nipped in for a try, with just three minutes on the clock. Melrose responded towards the end of the first quarter, when the talented Kieran Clark levelled the scores with this effort. And on the half-hour mark, Will Ferry put the visitors in front, converted by Struan Hutchison, to extend the lead. It was always going to be a nip-and-tuck game with no side dominating, and just before the break, James Bett went in for Selkirk's second try, taking his team to within just two points of Melrose. After the break, the men from Philip Hawk retook the lead. It was James Bett once again, getting a brace either side of the half. His opposite number, Ben McLean, scored next to give Melrose a slender one-point lead just three minutes later, with Struan Hutchison again successful with the boot, and that proved important as the game would eventually come down to kicks. Finley Whelans came off the bench to get on the end of this score, which made it 2019 to Selkirk, but it wasn't a great night for kicking, and eight points were left on the park by the home side, and it was down to them to see if they could hold out for the final stages with that one-point advantage. The final score went the way of Melrose though, and it was winger Connor Spence who got the touchdown to give the Black and Yellows a 24-20 win in a very tight game. And it means that Melrose make it two out of two, but they still have a showdown with unbeaten Hoyk next month, which could decide the destination for this year's trophy. Stuart Cameron, ITV News, Selkirk.